Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Galador review, and this one is on the McDonald's set from 2002, of course. Or otherwise, the short versions of the characters. But... So first off, each of which do come with little instruction sheets here, which do have the nice little pictures of each character, of course. Just like pull that out. Oh, whoops. Of course. Okay. So now I'll fold it out. You can see all the characters in the set here, of course. And also well, how you can how to swap the pieces, obviously, and of course old style McDonald's symbol logo there. And on the back, kind of a little smallish poster of like all the figures together, obviously. So to start off with is one of the stars of the show, uh, Nick Bluetooth, of course. So, like, as you can see, these figures, which are quite min minimalistic, sort of like the actual figures, of course, but since they, which a little more, a little bit more of that, since, of course, comprise of just three pieces, as you can see here. And, of course, as for the legs of which, kind of similar to the actual Nick Bluetooth figures, but, like, with the side cargo pockets and all, but... Oh, which kind of falls small and together. There and also looks kind of like not sure if these are like bell bottoms or whatever. I'm not sure, but to whatever. And as for the shirt, to which you see it's sort of a lightish purple color when or kind of like what Nick Bluetooth Deluxe kind of has, but and also one arm of which is regular. Arm that just swivels up and down, but fixed in place, obviously. And of course, this did also happen with the other McDonald's Bionicle sets that were like solid figures together. But that was in 2006 through 8, of course. But yeah. But I've seen this one point. And then the other arm of which, which is kind of similar to one of uh, Jens's uh, additional arms a bit, but in solid black with some odd sparkles for whatever reason. And and of course can hold various pull things like or various pulls like the actual versions do. And of course three little screws in the back, obviously. And as for the head of which kind of the same as the the uh, regular figures of Nick Bluetooth, but just without the hair bit of which just the help this helmet peak bit is like molded in and and of course this is which kind of a meme quite a meme as some say obviously and of course as you see some kind of interesting thing sculpted into it like for this fin bit on top like kind of like classic sci-fi's and then back part with this thing that's sticking out a ways and also this bottom area which not sure that's supposed to be hair but or maybe it's just kind of lazy sculpting or whatever since or they just didn't want to do much since it's a supposed to be a happy meal one happy meal toy or whatever but yeah and that is it with Nick Bluetooth and now on to Euripides which as you see kind of the same story as that and also similar legs and still kind of bending over kind of like the actual Euripides figure kind of did but in but the armor of which is just in the same green is just in green of course instead of in black like the actual one since didn't want to oh, waste much or whatever but yeah and as for the chest area or chest bit of which kind of this has a nice sculpting to it of course and of course he was not hunched over like the actual one and also the arms of it 
also just rotate around and also both the arms and the legs so nice scale detail on it of course also like the regular or Euripides did in the headpiece which kind of similar, also similar to that but it but doesn't have any uh, ratchet joint movement to which but interestingly does have this little ponytail come on out for some reason not sure why but whatever in the back part of which a little different than the actual Euripides with these little spiky things coming out but hey at least it's a bit of a difference and of course how this whole thing works is you can like take pieces of that and then just plop the Bluetooth onto it and vice versa let's see Kind of fun for you know happy meal standards but yeah and of course this which can like represent that scene this part that scene in the show later episode of the show when nick kind of glitched it and then suddenly hops around and does a whole bunch of slam dunks on a basketball court and yeah and so now that's it with those two but just a sec and now next to which is the handy robot Jens, or Jens, however you like to say that. Which, as you can see, is quite a bit similar, kind of close to the actual version, but the legs of which a little more thick and bulky than that. Oh, and also, as I forgot to mention on most of the other figures, is that yes, you can put them on Lego stud surfaces, both kinds of ways, but not clutched on, of course. But so now, and as for the torso bit, of which also kind of similar to the actual uh, Yen's figure, but instead suddenly just doesn't have the extra arms to him for that. But instead, the extra arms are just the actual arms on this one. And of course, on the actual Yens, there is two separate pieces. Kind of odd how that is, but whatever. And not present on that is this little staff bit, and which you can like clip on to there, to like other like the other figure. And as for the head, of which kind of also like the other one, but just doesn't have the dial features. There's, well, since you. Since, of course, it's a McDonald's figure, just couldn't expect much. In the back part, which also kind of is similar to the others, to the actual one, but yeah. And I guess that is it with Yen's. And now on to Nepal, which, as you can see, also quite similar to that, but the legs of which a little too bulky for him, but not like the actual one. Although it's, they're kind of more like squatted or spread out or something. And you can see a little bit of toes there. And as for the middle body part, as you can see, it's also the same as that, but it's instead of just whole one single piece instead of a few separate pieces. So of course, but in light blue, of course. And the arms that are also fixed in into it and also spin around as well. And of course, some nice for sculpting detailing to there and as for the head of which also the same as the actual figures that there are of him but that but just don't do the uh, flip thing with the eyes but whatever but of course since it's a mcdonald's figure couldn't expect much again and that's about it with nepal and now on to gorm he was also quite the same as looking quite the same as the regular figures of him. But of course, the legs and torso, or I mean lower area, all one piece, obviously. Instead of a few separate pieces, of course. The torso bit does have all that bridging going on in it. Also like the others, but just not with any purple and of course. And as for the arms of which, also similar, but just not with the turnaround wrists. And they do spin up and down quite good, of course. And as for this staff weapon, which as you'll see on the 
uh, Gorm Deluxe figure is also in the look of the missile that there is. Well, you can just imagine that it's a missile if you want, to, but yeah. And as for the head of which, also quite the same as the regular version with the single green eye, of course, but not at all any detail into there. Well, since it's a little less of that. And, and also, not at all any ball joint movement, but of course, but of course you can still swivel it side to side if you want, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. Overall, I think this is which a kind of good bun for that, like for a McDonald's Happy Meal set. It's kind of quite all right, but quite good for that. Like plenty of swappable, pe swappable pieces will do it, although it may be minimalistic, unlike the actual figures. But, but at least you can swap them with the actual figures if you want. But yeah. Although what's kind of odd is how there isn't Allegra here in this one. Although, or or even an Uni or something, but yeah. Or maybe he could have included someone exclusive, or from from the show exclusive to this or whatever. But aside from that, at least they did kind of it work out, unlike with the uh, Bonacle Mctorin or Tahunga uh, from the year prior. But yeah. And so now, if any of y'all are still have this set from back in the day. Well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And if you can still access this set or and also get for either your Lego Galador collection or a Happy Meal toy collection, then definitely get it, of course. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.